Singapore has a long history of human settlement, having been shown by Greek scientist Ptolemy almost 2,000 years ago on his map of the world. Furthermore, the founder of Singapore is mentioned as a descendant of Alexander the Great in the Malay Annals. The greatest historical literary work that discusses the origin, evolution, and demise of the Great Malay Maritime Empire. Singapore, whose name means Lion City, is an economic giant in spite of the tiny size of the territory it occupies. As per the World Bank, it is a high-income economy with a gross national income of US $54,530 per capita as of 2017. In the most recent World Bank Human Capital Index, Singapore ranks as the best country in the world in human capital development. This means that children born today in Singapore will achieve 88% productivity when grown up if they complete their education and enjoy full health. The Singaporean passport is currently ranked first among global passports. According to the Guide Passport Ranking Index, as per Skytrax, a UK-based airline and airport review and ranking site, Singapore's Changi Airport, known for its stunning indoor waterfall, is top of its 2023 ranking of the world's best airports. Apart from its fantastic economic performance, Singapore has a long history of human settlement, having been shown by Greek scientist Ptolemy almost 2,000 years ago on his map of the world. For a long period of time Singapore, like most other Southeast Asian nations, has been influenced by culture originating in India and extending to the region that some scholars call Greater India, including most of Southeast Asia. Myth and history are intertwined when we look at the past of Southeast Asia, including Singapore. The founder of Singapore, Tsang Nila Utama, is mentioned as a descendant of Alexander the Great in the Malay Annals, as interpreted by several scholars. The arrival of Alexander and his Macedonian Greek army in India and the forward march of his descendant King Seren is mentioned in the Malay Annals. We cannot be sure whether this is myth or historical truth, but the fact that a nation thousands of kilometers away from Greece connects itself with the biggest conqueror in Greek history is in itself interesting. The Sejora Malay or Malay Annals are known in Malay as Sulalet El Salitan, Genealogy of Kings, the oldest available literature on Malay history. It has been translated by John Lydon into English. In 2001, the Malay Annals were listed on UNESCO's Memory of the World Programme International Register and as per this text, the founder of Singapore, or what was then known as Singapura. Sang Nila Utama was a descendant of Roger Escondard Suelkanin, Alexander the Great of Macedonia, Greece. As per Annabel T. Gallup, lead curator of Southeast Asia at the British Museum. Iskanda Zalkanan Alexander the Great of Macedonia has often been a favoured royal name for Malay kings. The greatest ruler of Assay in the early 17th century was named Iskanda Muda. The young Iskanda, and a sultan of the island of Mindanao now in the Philippines, assumed a similar royal name and trusting to God, he is there to Seri Muhammad Iskanda Zalkanan. As per the Malay Annals, Roger Sikander Alexander the Great 356-323 BC defeated Roger Kida Hindi of Hindustan, India and married his daughter Princess Shawal Baraya. Alexander the Great left the princess with her father and returned to Macedonia. Greece Alexander and the princess had a son Roger Arastan Shaw, who became the next king. Among several generations of descendants of Alexander, King Seren reign 1014 to 1044 emerge as the greatest. King Seren wanted to subdue China and march his huge force from India through today's Myanmar and Malaya till he arrived in Temasek, Singapore. Hearing that China was very far away, Roger Seren abandoned his plans to invade China. Turning his interests now to the undersea world, Roger Seren lowered himself into the sea in a glass chest diving bell. Under the water? 
Roger Seren met Roger Mactabellas. There Roger Seren married the undersea king's daughter Putri Mactabelbokri and they had three sons. After some years, Roger Seren decided to return to the world above the sea, as he did, not want to break the bloodline of Alexander the Great. Roger Seren returned to his own realm on a winged seahorse and retired in his homeland of India. Roger Seren had a son, San Superba. San Superba's son, Sang Nila Utama, became chief of Palembang. While adventuring in the Malacca Straits, his ship was driven to the Singapore coast by a terrible storm. A man of fortune, he became the first sole king of the island. On top of Fort Canning Hill in Singapore is the resting place of the King Sang Nila Utama, descendant of Alexander the Great. His statue was erected at the Raffles Landing site as part of events commemorating the bicentennial of the founding of modern Singapore. Seeing a creature that he believed to be a lion on the shore of what is now Singapore, Sang Nila Utama named the region Singapore Lion City. Thus the lion's head became the distinctive and easily recognisable national symbol of Singapore, adopted in 1986 by the government as a symbol that people and organisations could use to express their loyalty and commitment to the nation. That Singapore, a country so far away from Greece, has a historical connection with the greatest Greek conqueror Alexander the Great, is indeed interesting and needs to be studied more.